Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is sponsored by Sprague & Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueAndCurtis.com. Now here's J.P. Divine. What's your sign? Relax. By the time you read this, peace will once again be returned to the land, well, at least to your local Starbucks. But as I write this morning, May 29th, Starbucks across the nation is on DEPCON 1, the highest alert possible. I think the worst is incoming, but that's not on the horizon. Here's what we know. 8,000 company-owned stores in the United States on the afternoon of May 29th at 2.30 p.m. will close to conduct racial bias education geared toward preventing discrimination in our stores. Hurrah! It came off well. As you read me words in this lovely Sunday morning of June 3rd, Gemini's favorite child, Howard Schultz, CEO of Starbucks, is sleeping better. As for myself... The moment I woke up this morning, I knew something was wrong. And sure enough, by noon, I discovered my Taurus moon was in my ninth house of foreign affairs. As my mother always said, it's always something. My daily horoscope, which arrives via my email each morning, lists many curious things, none of which I fully understand, but have come to enjoy. Of course... It's actually not important for the average horoscope devotee to understand. For example, I'm a Catholic. (laughs) Do I understand all the details in Vatican II? No. How about Sacrosanctum Concilium? That's the Constitution of the Sacred Liturgy. Of course not, but I pretend to at parties. As one addicted to astrology, I have to worry all night about my moon becoming new or to make matters worse if it's saddled with a radical Uranus transit. You'll feel emotional about this, it says at the bottom of the page. I'm emotional about everything. My columns, my book, my cooking, the latest chapter of Billions, and especially about Carrie on Homeland. I'm telling you, I'm so glad that show was off for the year. That girl has been driving me crazy. Crazy. I just know she's a Scorpio. No, she's not. She's an Aries. Van Gogh was an Aries. Why am I surprised? Emotional? I'm a Virgo. Virgos are extremely emotional. You would think the woman who writes this stuff would know that. Is she a summer replacement or something? Is my future in the hands of an intern? And that part about my ninth house of foreign affairs. I haven't had a foreign affair since I left Tokyo over 60, three years ago. But, okay, you know all about her. Horoscope, knowledgeable, was socially valuable back in my theater days in Manhattan in the late 50s. It was a great icebreaker at parties. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Hi, I'm Rachel. What's your sign? I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Virgo. And then she scrunched up her nose and walked away. Now, if I had studied, I would have known that Capricorn is my most compatible sign. It took me three more years to find she, who is a Capricorn, with a capital C. But back to Starbucks and their leader, Howard Schultz, who is a Gemini, like my youngest daughter. Here is his forecast for today as he shuts down um, his over 8,000 shops. May 29th, 2018. A change has occurred in our solar system, Gemini. Now you tell him. A shift that will probably be imperceptible, but nonetheless profound. Do you think? You have seven months to understand how this change impacts you. Perhaps you need to release yourself from the bonds of a group. Oh my God, don't take that to mean Starbucks. All we need is to have our favorite coffee shop snapped up by the current POTUS with all the sign changes that that entails. Innovation is in the air, Gemini. His horoscope adds. Boy, ain't it the truth. I am not a man of color. My winter white legs bared in summer shorts will prove that. But tomorrow, I'm going to go up to my local Starbucks, buy nothing, use the bathroom, read my paper, and maybe just sit on a stool with my arms folded and glare at the manager and baristas. Okay, after I've made my point, maybe a mocha. Decaf, no whip, a small one. Oh, I'm glad that's all over. How about you, Howard? (laughs) 
thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Devine is sponsored by Sprague and Curtis Real Estate, the largest full-service real estate brokerage in Central Maine's capital region. Selling properties, helping people, getting it done. Visit their website at SpragueandCurtis.com. Make sure you pick up Central Maine Sunday this week wherever newspapers are sold and visit our website at CentralMaine.com. Oh,